everybody. Another video here for you today. Now, I've been doing this about once a week for a little while now. I'm a glass of wine, talking ancient history with my friends. Now, this one I've been wondering about for quite a while. At least we're going to learn about an ancient impact event. Now, I've been talking about ancient impacts on Earth for quite a while on my channel. We are going down to Wanapate Lake in Canada here, just north of Sudbury, Ontario. They say this was created by an impact event 37 million years ago. And that's all fine with me, but uh, some things appear a little weird to me. I have speculated on one impact site coming from the Younger Dries period up here. Randall Carlson has talked about a few on his podcast, on his channel. But this is actually an ancient impact crater just north of the Great Lakes. So that was the first thing that really, oops, that was the first thing that really caught my attention. And they say, well, the north side of the lake, the rim of the crater is still very evident. And it says the south side of the lake has been carved by glacial erosion. Well, shouldn't the whole lake show the same glacial erosion? 37 million years, how many ice ages are we talking about? But that north side of the lake just seemed very fresh as far as a ancient crater. We'll take a look at some topographical maps and a few other things here. Here is Crater Explorer and their article on the Wanapate Impact Crater 37 million years ago, coming from the Eocene. They are the experts. We'll talk about the dating of this. But it talks about what type of impactor type, the shock metamorphosism, the melt glass. Pretty detailed article here. Talks about the dating method. Two samples were taken in glacial drift south of the lake. And there are some people who question the dating method done on this impact crater. Here is the large Sudbury impact crater. And I did a video about this last summer. And this came from well over a billion years ago. That's what an ancient crater looks like over geological time. The Wanapate crater is right on the border of that. And I was pretty surprised when I looked into all the impact sites, how many were in Canada seem to be a target area of impact bodies coming into Earth. Here's the lake again from overhead. Pretty well-defined north rim for a 37 million year old crater. Here's a look from beneath the plain overlooking the lake here. Let's go down here and it says glacial float, glacial float from Lake Wanapate, Ontario, which has an approximately circular central basin of 8.6 kilometers in diameter includes brushes and glass rocks containing abundant evidence of shock metamorphosism and it talks about the silica in the glass and the vesicular glasses including alkali feldspar glass and this is really i have to go slow here but it says this is additional strong evidence supporting a hypervelocity impact origin for the basin here's a diagram they did Here's the outline of the lake here and the proposed impact crater. This lake goes down to about 466 feet, one of the deepest lakes in Ontario, just compared only to the Great Lakes, I guess. Here is the outline of the very ancient Sudbury event. And these are dikes coming down that were interrupted by the more recent event coming from 37 million years ago, they say. Here is a regional gravitational map. Here is the outline of the lake. And that looks like a perfect crater almost in the bottom of this lake here, based on the gravitational map. Here it says the Bugar gravity anomaly map of Lake Wanapate area, a negative anomaly of approximately 15 milligals is centered over the Lake Wanapate impact structure. And here you go right there. Now, I wish I knew a lot more about all these technical terms than I do. That looks pretty interesting right there. There's been a little disagreement on how large this crater is under this lake. You can't see it, but based on the best guesstimates, maybe four miles across, a four-mile crater, that would do a lot of damage. Here is Meteor Crater in Arizona. This, is, I believe, is only a half mile across. It's interesting. We talk about a fragmented comet in the Younger Dryas period. Here it talks about the Wanapate Crater. In connection with the 
crater in Siberia, and also the Chesapeake Bay impact crater. You know, Randall has talked about that, but it says that it supports a hypothesis that a major disruption of an L parent body triggered an asteroid shower in the late Eocene. Maybe all these are connected. I will leave this link below. Here's a video I did in April, Lake of the Great Spirit, a proposed impact site. Does this lake here have any connection to a native myth about a great spirit? Well, it does. It says the great spirit, Manitou, is connected to Lake Huron through this lake. They say it is bottomless. It is one of the deepest lakes in Ontario, but they say the great spirit is connected to Lake Huron through this lake. Here is some imagery done, some topographical mapping done here. Here is the ancient Sudbury structure on the left. Here is Lake Wanapate. The impact structure is beneath the lake. You cannot see it very well, but that north rim indicates what it is. When I first saw this on Google Earth, I thought, man, a lot of water poured off this. Maybe this was a Younger Dryas impact event site. But then I read the dating, 37 million years old. So kind of put that to bed, but it's been bugging me ever since. Here's the Wanapate bathymetric data on the lake here. Here's an image of what they call as a magnetic survey done in 2002. Seems like a pretty symmetrical ring here for a 37 million year old impact crater. When I first started looking into the Wanapate impact site, words such as controversially identified as a 37 million year old impact event site, stuff like that came up. There was another website that was questioning how they dated this, how you are supposed to properly date an impact crater. And they said it was dated just on a few samples from glacial till south of the lake. There's been a lot of impact events in Canada. Do they have the dating right on this? I just wonder. When I first noticed this lake, when I did my Sudbury impact event, I thought heck of a lot of water poured off of here at one time. There's some gorges south of here that are pretty deep, pretty deeply cut. But then the dating, 37 million years old. They're the experts. They must have this right. That is a video coming from Ontario, Canada, Lake Wanapate, just north of Sudbury, just north of the Great Lakes. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have very safe.